Why would anybody eat a pair of pig's ears? Nose to tail eating, I am a big believer in it. We should waste as little as possible. And it's time to start getting fearless. And eating pig's ears is a good way to start. Please remember to subscribe so we can build this channel and keep awesome, fresh content coming your way. The first thing with pig's ears is ask your butcher to clean them properly for you. They can be a little bit hairy, you can see that there. Next thing, there's sort of two portions to, a, to an ear. There's the lobe and there's this bottom portion here. For this particular recipe, we're just going to use the lobe. Pig's ear on the board, we're just basically taking off the lobe. There's a lot of collagen, a lot of protein, a lot of goodness in here. There are two stages to cooking the ears. The first is to slow cook them in a stock. Carrots, onions, and leeks. Chop them up. Throw them in the water. Throw in some star anise and fennel seed. Drop in the earlobes. Get it up to pressure, pressure cook it for one hour. Now, if you're using a regular pot, same process, just cook it really well for three to four hours till those earlobes are beautiful and tender. And then we get to the next stage of the recipe. You can hear that hissing away. The pig's ears are pressure cooking. So we're gonna make a very simple dipping sauce for the pig's ears, quite Asian influenced. We've got star anise and we've got fennel seeds in there. That'll all go together very, very nicely. So, four tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, two tablespoons of sesame oil, half a tablespoon fish sauce, half a tablespoon of decent soy sauce, a pinch of pepper, two tablespoons of honey, a pinch of sesame seeds, fresh chopped coriander, and some beautifully fresh radish chopped up as well juice of one lime and just bring it all together. Wow, that is tasty. Okay, so the final thing to get ready is the coating for the crispy pig's ears. Crispy is what it's all about. And this is my little tip or secret to make super crispy and ultra delicious pig's ears. So what you do, take some cornflakes, regular cornflakes. You don't want them to be powder. What you want is them to be pretty crushed. So our coating is ready. Seasoned flour, egg wash, crushed cornflakes, just in time for our pig's ears to come out of the pressure cooker. It's been about an hour, and let's hope I haven't made a pig's ear out of them. But a boom Ho, ho, ho. Right, let's get them out and see what they're like. Look at that, nice and sort of soft, oh yeah, beautiful. I could almost push my finger through it. You know, it's perfectly cooked when you have it like that. The other thing you have is an absolutely fantastic stock in here. And a lot of that collagen is now in there. And this makes a truly wonderful stock or a base from which to make other soups. We'll just set that aside for the moment. So the next thing to do now is to slice through the ears to make sort of slivers almost just like this. Very, very simple from here. Take your pig's ears, just dust them in that lovely seasoned flour. Then into the egg wash, then into the cornflakes. Straight into the fryer and fry them till they're crispy. And then you are good to go. And that's it, very simple. Once it's nice and crispy, in hot oil, literally for about a minute to a minute and a half, out onto some paper towel to drain it nicely, you're good to go. Now all we need to do is plate and eat. And I know it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Pile up your lovely pig's ears on a plate here, just like this. Now I want you to think about this for a moment. And just for a second, imagine you putting this down at a dinner table with some drinks prior to dinner, you know, a bit of a snack, and you don't tell anybody what they are. Look at it. And then all that happens is one of your unsuspecting guests picks up this beautiful, crispy, interesting looking thing. What is it, they ask. Oh, it's just a bit of pork, you say. Dip it in the sauce and try it, you say. Okay, I will, thank you. Oh my God, that is amazing. What is it? It's a pig's ear. Ah, ah, ah. 
Ah, no, I've forgotten how good these are. It's been a while since I made them. So what you basically have is a beautiful crispy exterior with lots of texture, a soft, sumptuous, flavoursome middle, and this beautiful dipping sauce. It is truly delicious. Mm. Go and try it, trick some of your friends, challenge yourself. Fearless eating, fearless food, do it. Mm, it's so yum. Pigs in this. Mm.